Hello and welcome to the workshop. I hope everyone had a lovely, lovely weekend, although I guess it depends when you're watching this video. That's the way the internet works. You might be watching this two months from now on a Wednesday and you might be thinking the weekend. But yes, today is Monday, January 21st, 2019. I still can't believe it's 2019 already. Today's sneakers are very dope and super, super exclusive among other things. This is not my pair. Shouts to Kixar for us for letting us take these back to the laboratory and dive in a little bit. It's a really cool pair of sneakers, but I think it's a shoe that most people probably don't even know exists. I didn't know they existed until very, very recently. So I wanted to give you all a look at them or really look at them together. So without further ado, bang, bang, the Adidas NMD TS1 Daryl Makes Comics. This is a friends and family collaboration between Daryl McDaniels from Run DMC and Adidas. Only 50 pairs were made. 5-0. You want to talk about limited, these are insanely limited. A little quick backstory because I think it's interesting. Almost everyone knows Run DMC, I'm sure. What they've done with Adidas over the years is iconic. My Adidas. I mean, it doesn't get much more legendary than that. Well, Daryl McDaniels, DMC, is not only a huge comic book fan, but he also is involved in creating his own comics now. And this is in celebration of his first three graphic novel release, which is pretty damn cool when you think about it. I think when it comes to collaborations and partnerships, and we've talked about this before many, many times, a lot of them feel contrived and forced. With this, anything Run DMC and Adidas, that's about as organic as it gets. And I just think it's really cool that this sneaker kind of shines some light on a different aspect. It's not just music, it's not just the rap, but it shines a light on this comic thing, which is really, really dope. And Run DMC has played such a major part in Adidas's success, in my opinion. So it's just, it really is the perfect collaboration and it's really dope to see them do a friends and family thing like this. Let's touch on some of the details starting with the box. This box is crazy. DMC comic graphics as you can see. All wood. A little message at the bottom. Very very dope. The sneaker is basically a black upper but you can see some white sprinkled in. Lace locks as you can see. Daryl makes comics on the front and back pull tabs. Gore-Tex on deck. Very New York and one of my favorite details on the entire shoe is the gold strips. I love how they're staggered. Red outsole and the boost, as you can see. Boost is life, or is it? Who knows anymore? These are fire. I haven't been the hugest NMD guy, but these are really, really good. Obviously, when you have a sneaker and it comes in a box like this and has all the cool little details, it just feels more special. I mean, you can't even compare a regular sneaker that you would find on the shelf at a store to these. These almost aren't even in the same genre. Now, when there's only 50 pairs made, most people are not gonna be able to get a pair or own a pair. I surely was not able to. Like I said, this is not my pair. If I did have them, I don't know that I would wear them. I'd probably sell them because for me, it's more of a collector's piece and I don't really consider myself a collector. I wear my sneakers, man. Buckets, who's behind the camera. We wear our sneakers, like really, really wear them. So for me, a shoe like this with the nice box and the whole friends and family, only 50 pairs with that whole thing, this seems like a shoe that you'd almost just display. That's how it feels to me anyway. How do you feel about them? Leave a comment below and let us know. Also, let us know what's a sneaker that you haven't seen a video on and you would like to see you know maybe something super rare maybe something like these like i've said before here and there you know it won't be all the time but randomly we're going to kind of like feature a shoe not a sneaker that we own necessarily but something maybe even that we don't own something that we've not been able to get our hands on that doesn't come in our size sneakers like that that we're not able to get but we can get our hands on them bring them back to the lab and kind of dive in like we did with these so if there is a sneaker out there that you would like to see 
see us do a review on or show you that you have not seen already leave a comment below and let us know always love to hear from you thank you for watching you are very very appreciated we will be back tomorrow same time same place right here at the workshop until then adios